So I talk about in Don't Say No for the Prospect, uh, the one question I ask some of you that may you feel you're hearing me talk to you when I'm talking about arrogance. Again, trust me, there's a fine line between a healthy ego, which we must have to deal with the rejection. So I think I can kind of feel that some of you may go, well, do I have a healthy ego or am I arrogant? The first thing that comes to mind when I meet someone who I think comes across as very arrogant is I immediately go to my thought that they're insecure because if you are knowledgeable about your prospect or the market or the negotiations, you're not that, that, you know, puffing out the chest and I know more than you doesn't really come to play because you're, you're, you're secure in your knowledge and you know, I'm going to win on this point, or I know a lot about my prospect and the market so I can defend my position. So while you're sitting there thinking, doing kind of a gut check, am I arrogant or am I just confident? Think about, are you curious about the needs of the prospect? Because if you can get into that place and be very concerned and very interested, interested in the prospect's needs, then you will be able to be the matchmaker and you'll be able to put your ego in your pocket and just be confident in the knowledge of your product and your market. So the question is, am I arrogant or am I interested? If you can say I'm interested, then you're just self-confident. That's the way you want to be. Hey guys, Beth Azor here. Thanks for coming to my YouTube channel. I hope you're enjoying the videos. I love to hear what you want to hear about. You know, I, my specialties are prospecting, negotiating, social media, branding. I love to walk and talk. So send me some ideas and I will post a video. But more importantly, if you like the videos, press like, share them, and please subscribe. Thanks.